Hello, 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 hello. You're tuning into another episode of Tony Can Show. Today's second topic, first take goes in on the Ravens and Lamar Jackson once again. And this time, they're taking off the gloves. They're trying to hit as hard as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the drivel that they were spewing, right? And then I'm going to give them something that I feel like they deserve at the end of the video. So without further ado, we're going to get this um, started, get this going, play the two snippets, and then we're going to break it down. So let's go. What you've done, Shay Shay, here's the deal. Do you play to win games or do you play to win the championship? What are you playing for? At some point, you're playing to win the chip. Because we know what Lamar Jackson is. Why he's getting the two hundred and sixty million for a reason. Why are you okay? bringing up his we money? We know he's a former league MVP. We know what he brings to the table. We know he wins the vast majority of his games from September through December. It's about what we're projecting you're going to be able to deliver in January. You got the Cleveland Browns coming in here. Got an elite defense. Y'all still managed to put up thirty three points. What happens? You convert two of eight times on third down conversions. These are problematic things. When you're sitting up there and you're throwing two interceptions, you're turning the football over. That's a problematic thing. I'm looking at Lamar Jackson and I'm saying, excuse me, 71.5% of your passes you completed coming into the game. But it's 56.5% completion percentage when it's against Cleveland. I got a problem with that because I'm looking for you to show up when it's called upon you to do so. So he hasn't been showing up? So him blowing out right now the the second best team in the league being, you know, Detroit Lions, that didn't count. Him blowing out the Seahawks didn't count. Oh, okay. I, I digress. We continue. Which is against the division rival, and I think that he did it yesterday. <laughs> He scored 31 points. Uh, what it was a 14 point point. They, they, they should have won the game, no question. No, they I love have, you. He scored, 20, he scored 24. They got a pick six on the very first possession. Did okay, you forget 24. that part? 24. Okay, 24 okay. versus the number one defense in the NFL. Okay. I love you. For you to sit here and say mm -hmm. that he needs to throw the ball over ah, the line of scrimmage ah. on the pick six, no, no, I'm just, 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 I'm, I'm just saying when you <laughs> outside the head of the helmet, when they hit the helmet, right? How about, how about you're not, you're not Baker Mayfield. You're not Kyler Murray. The guy makes, the guy jumps in the air. No, right? I thought, I thought, I thought they. No, no, that. Oh, you no, thought that's, wrong because you didn't that's watch it. No, 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 no. Pick okay. six. Okay. He's the boy. I'm about to. You know, who? Calm down, calm down, baby. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't jump at them like that, man. I love you too. We continue. On a ball to Ricard in the flat, the defender jumps up, ball gets, but we call that a BBB, bad break, bro. Okay. Ain't nothing we could do about okay. that. So what I'm gonna do is you heard that part. I'm gonna fast forward it to the other part that I want you guys to hear, okay? And then we're gonna break it down. Last the third part. worst of his career. So what the hell does the defense got to do with that? Well, I mean, two of those drops, two of those are drops for Lamar, and the interception is that batted ball. There's nothing, I mean, we're, we're, I, I'm never going to pin that on a quarterback. I don't care what anyone says. That's a credit to the defense for making a good play. I love to see the hands of the defense. But, like, Deshaun stepped up and made plays. He was 14th, like, to your point. I thought his legs were a huge part of the conversation. But I'm not sitting here going, oh, man, now I got concerns about Lamar late in football games. Their well, how about offense field? has got to perform better late in football games. Their <laughs> offense has to perform better late in football games. But it evolves around him, does it not? It, yes. We can't. We can't constantly do this, though. But we he, are going to do it because at the end of the day, when it comes to the postseason, <laughs> that's what you're going to ask is if you're going to sit up there with your clipboard, looking at the big screen, Bruh. and you're going to talk about what he Dribble. needs to do, even if you notice a bunch of, of deficiencies on the offensive side of the ball for Baltimore. You're going to point to what he needs to do in order to negate those things to win. You're going to do that, Dan. But Stephen A., last week, Lamar's leading the league in completion percentage. He's leading the league in yards rushed by a quarterback, and now we're concerned. Like, you're telling me right now, late in games, in the, in, yeah. in the playoffs, you're going to be concerned yes. about can Lamar get it yes. done or not? In yes. the playoffs? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Because Absolutely. you know what? Since yes. the start of last season, the Ravens have blown seven fourth-quarter leads. Oh. That's the most. 
So absolutely, I'm going to be concerned. So since Josh Allen's thrown the most interceptions since 2020. Turnovers. We don't even talk about him. He has nine turnovers and 10 touchdown passes. So what's your concern rate when it comes to the turnovers? I don't look at turnovers just as like a black and white thing, Shannon. I look at that interception. One of those interceptions, like he throws two. I sit there and I say, one's bad. That turnover, the fumbles, I think four or five of them were in that torrential round port, downpour game. And Call both context, the guys. And the Colts. Context. So, like the con for me, it's always about context. I don't have have massive turnover concerns about Lamar Jackson. I don't like. Here's my my pushback to this. Do we have them about Joe Burrow? Oh, come against what? Excuse me. Do we have Excuse me. Because what Joe did yesterday, two of the most uncharacteristic turnovers that Joe yeah. Burrow's had in his NFL career. Yeah. I don't have concerns about that. I don't think that's that's who he is or what's going to be a storyline this year. But you, but hold on. We've seen Joe Burrow come playoff time, go on the road to Buffalo, go on the road to Tennessee, go on the road to Kansas City, and get it done. Listen, <laughs> I'm not playing no more of that dribble. You saw how he froze and paused, and then he went back to the playoffs and said, well, we know what he does in the playoffs. I'm not even going to dive into it from an intellectual uh, standpoint, because usually that's what I would do. I would break it down in such a way that it would just make them look foolish. But what I found out doing this show, being in front of you guys, is sometimes you got to be petty. You got to dive into some other or, 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 or other lands of uncomfortability that you usually don't go simply to make your point. So let me make my point right now. See this guy right here? Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay. Got the big steroid uh, jawline. Look like you can chew through jawbreaker. Ah, ah, ah. I just want to tell you something, bro. And it's from FS1. Oh! Tired of the foolishness, sir. What are you doing? Do you have no shame? Do you have no grace? And you won't say that stuff about Joe Burrow. You won't say it about Josh Allen. You won't say it about Justin Herbert. You won't even say it about Baker Mayfield. Well, whatever. We'll keep going. Next, you. You weren't even on the show today, Mad Dog, right? You weren't on the show, but you stay giving my quarterback all the hate. All of the venom. So, I'm channeling Michael Vick. Or, or to Mad Dog, you know. Ha <laughs> ha, call it out. Oh. Mad Dog slap. Yes, you deserve that slap. Who is next? Oh, look at this powdery brother right here. Oh, that's what it looks like when you sell your soul to ESPN. Disney got that brother's soul wrapped up. It took all the color out of his face. He has to tan just to get back the brown in his skin. And you're going to sit there and talk bad about my team, about my QB? Let me tell you something. Your hairline's already very far back, sir. Let me help it go back a little further. Super dynamic atomic back hair cut slot. <laughs> Take it and leave it. You know you want it. You know you like it. And, oh. Holly Cam. Girl, you look, yo, look at that smile. You look so innocent. Oh my God. You know what? I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to go out on a limb. Molly, they're going to make fun of me about this, but I'm going to ask. You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Will you please stop talking about my quarterback? I'm already married to the most beautiful woman in the world. You think I care about that? Take your makeup off your face. Slap! Oh. You think I care? Huh? I'm coming for everybody. Ah. I'm tired of it. And Dan Olowski called it out. You won't say it about anybody else. If you, listen, if you were going to be tough on Lamar, right? And say, I'm tough on everybody like that. I can't say nothing. I can't say I'm like, yo, he's like that with everybody, right? You're keeping the same going across um, different players. So you can respect that, but you don't do it. And you defend that you don't do it. You don't say that about Herbert. You don't say that about Jack. Josh Allen, the NFL changed, literally changed the rules to try to aid him in his ascension to dethrone Patrick Mahomes. And you know what? It did him no good. It did him nothing. Nothing. Where's his hate? Where's his 
a, 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 a critique. He leads the league in interceptions since 2020. Where's those? Where's those numbers, sir? Huh? Oh, you don't got it, huh? You don't got it. Joe Burrow playing like trash. Man just lost yesterday. Nobody's covering it. Nobody. And he threw two interceptions. Nobody's covering it. And act like it don't happen. But then when it's Lamar, oh, yes, finally. Finally, he gives us something to talk about. Yes, yes, Lamar. Finally, Demetrius. Yes. No, no. Oh. Will I sit here and watch it? No. no. Oh. Well, listen to your foolishness. Don't be no. to all of your hate. And no. the of Jesus Christ down on you to stop your lying. And you know this. So that's how I feel so far about the drivel that was put out today by first take. And I don't have an intellectual breakdown for you guys. All I have is slaps. Oh. One more for you. And I'm slapping all of them. If, if Let me tell you something. If anybody, y'all can make sure that you put this on Twitter. You can tweet them, retweet them, requote them, get them into it. If any of the other ESPN people try to chime into it, punk jump up to get beat down. Oh. And you know it. And that's an episode of The Water King. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment in all of the comments. And if you haven't done so already, check out the one that can show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content, goodness, waiting for consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you want to help out the channel with um donations and stuff like that, it helps out with like equipment. That's how you do it. Bottom of the screen, QR code, QR code to a cash app. Cash app's located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonder Can Show. Super easy. Once again, it's The Wonder Can Show. This show is Nitro signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am no one. Oh. One more slap for you, Mr. Shannon Sharp, with your oversized chin and your jawline. Jawbreaker. Arr, 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 arr. Peace. And I'm out, and I'll see you when I see you. You heard? Yep. Yeah.